The halacha that we were discussing yesterday about a kedisha menachto lehetir, a utensil that its primary purpose is for something that is permitted on Shabbat, and we said as examples, cups, plates, uh, forks, knives, all different uh, household utensils, that their primary function is of etir. One is allowed to move it, mehamar atzeir, from one place to another place for the protection of the item, uh, for uh, the aesthetics, one would be allowed to move it so that the house looks tidied up, the house looks good, the utensils are set up properly, or if he needs the space, or if he needs to use the instrument, all of those cases are permitted. However, what is not permitted is to move it without a tzorif, without a necessity. And this is something that people don't realize, that anything that's a krisha merachtole, a utensil, that is of permissible nature, not a prohibited nature, one cannot just move around with no purpose. There must be a purpose. And the Benish Hai says, therefore, if a person takes from the table uh, um, a knife and moves it from here to there, from one place to another place, and there was no reason to do it, says that is Rasul, that's a violation of the rules of Muqsir. Interestingly, the Aruch HaShulchan raises a point. What happens if a person is sitting there and he sees a fork and he wants to play with the fork? So he's fiddling with it. Is that also considered shirol etzorech? Says the Aruch HaShulchan, to fiddle with something, to play with something in your hand, because it, uh, like, uh, it used to have those uh, stress balls, uh, those stress uh, gears, whatever they were, uh, they had. Uh, these different things that you fiddle with is considered, according to the Aruch HaShulchan, a a necessity. Not, in, not a major necessity, but in, enough of a necessity that it could be moved. It's not in the violation of handling something that is muktzeh, and it would be permitted uh, to play with a fork, to play with um, various things on Shabbat, and it's not a violation. Chacham Vadya brings down this Aruch HaShulchan and says, one who relies on the Aruch HaShulchan has on what to rely, because from the onset, it's not so simple that Muktzeh would apply to Kerim Shemir Ahtor So therefore, Hamu Vadiyah says you could rely on this Aruch HaShulchan that something that's fiddling is mutal to play with on Shabbat. Nevertheless, the Arachah still remains that to move something without a purpose would be Asu. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen. Amen.